Good morning, welcome to another hiking adventure. I'm here at the North Chickamauga Creek Gorge, uh, referred to also as the Pocket Wilderness. It's 38 degrees today, uh, it is raining, it's supposed to start raining some more. So today I'm just gonna do the lower hogskin loop. Uh, there's some fantastic views on the upper ridge and I will show you those another time. It's been raining uh, several days uh, off and on this week, so the water's high. So we should get some really great uh, water, some rapids. There's people out here um, you know, doing their kayaking and uh, a few other folks braving the wilderness today in this uh, wet, rainy day as well. So let's have some fun. So a couple things. Uh, first of all, I wanted to also mention I am trying uh, my new black watch uh, athletic utility kilt from UT Kilts. Uh, so far, so good. I'll take a picture of that and, and show you what that looks like. Um, but a quarter of a mile or less in on the trail, you see you've got this decision point. Uh, the upper hogskin loop will take you straight up the mountain. Definitely what I recommend, uh, the lower hogskin loop, which we're doing today, is uh, more scenic, uh, touristy, lots of children. Um, people bring their dogs, they really have a good time. You can get to the blue hole that way. Uh, so if you're looking for a hike with uh, scenery and views, head straight up the upper loop. If you wanna just kinda have a day out at the creek, uh, have some fun, uh, the lower loop. Uh, not gonna be crowded today because it's very inclement weather, but this is uh, the first decision point on the trail. Give you 10 seconds or so point of view. Uh, the lower loop has the benefit of having the creek right beside you. And it's uh, very beautiful and very nice. Okay, so at about a half mile in, uh, you come to another decision point. You can cross the creek. I don't think that may be possible today. The water's really high. And go another uh, seven-tenths of a mile to uh, the Blue Hole. A lot of people take advantage of that in the summer. Or you can stay on the trail and uh, complete the lower loop. It brings you up and you can connect in with the upper. note of when you first come to a trail you can read about it ahead of time or just be observant are the flashes on the trees uh, the Cumberland trail system does a really good job of marking their trails uh, this particular trail is white flashes uh, sometimes you'll see a metal placard or a little piece of metal that's white in this case they use in paint so I wanted to point that out and also, all this rhododendron is amazing. I love hiking in the winter and getting to see all this lush green. Uh, this is in several sections of the Cumberland Trail and I really uh, enjoy that. Don't get to see a lot of green like this in the winter time. It's very nice. All right, I've got to take something back. Once you get past half a mile, the lower loop is quite rigorous. Lots of ups and lots of right back downs. Wow. It's been a great hike today. Talked about the Viking mindset before, seeking adventure, seeking discomfort. 
when it's a little cold and a little wet, you get all this to yourself. It's amazing. I hope you enjoyed some of the scenery. And uh, thanks again for joining me on another hiking adventure.